Okay, welcome, folks. Uh, it's going to be Christmas Eve tonight, so wishing all of you a uh, happy, healthy, and safe holidays, please. Uh, we've had enough bad news for the year, so let's get back to our casino update. Ah, we went last night, and uh, it was it was sort of a little crazy. I had two hundred and fifty dollars in chips in my pocket from previous session that I didn't cash out, and uh, I took that money and and put it on a table. When I got there, it was two fifteen dollar tables for Thursday night. That's was pretty strange, but there was only like three people playing at one table. Oh, and the other table was just opening. That's what it was. The other, because I went over to the other table where no one was playing, and I looked, and they still had the the plexiglass over the chips. But the dealer, stick man, and box man was there. So they were going to open up. So I went to the other side and <clears throat> and uh, my spot opened up over there. Stick one left. So I I jumped in there. And, yeah, okay, and I had the two hundred fifty in in chips. And, and I said, and I started playing with that. And uh, I made my usual bets. Oh man, was that table cold? It was just terrible. That that money went twelve minutes. <laughs> it was it was crazy. So I I bought in for a, another two hundred, and I said, you know, eh. and I got to give a big shout out to Brian from Hawaiian. Crap shooters, Mr. Money Shot. It was the HP strategy. I, I said, you know, this is gonna be a losing night. I can I can see it already how things are going. And uh I haven't even got to throw the dice yet. Cause they're you know, we picked up some other players as as this one was shooting and and extended the time before I could get a chance to throw. So I, I decided to use HP strategy and I played the, uh, I call it HP 60. And I'll, I'll show you the bets I was using. 60 bucks on the don't pass. I didn't hedge it with anything. I just let it sit. We get a roll, we get a point, an eight. I go, boy, that's a terrible point, but that's that's okay. And then I would take thirty dollars, and I would place the six and the nine, and play that way. And for the shooters that were shooting, I either broke even, or I was up twenty five dollars. Because yes, I, I I did press. If it did get hit, say say it got hit for thirty five, we we threw the six. I dropped the dealer a dollar and press it. The rest in the rack. And I do that. If I make another hit, say the nine comes. I have 30 on it, I get 42. Hey, okay. Now I'm ahead, no matter what happens. I, I'm I'm ahead 50 bucks. So let's, you know, I would, now at this point, if it went this far, usually it didn't get this far. Of course, I would press the nine, one unit, and then I'll go up on the five, $30. I'll rack this. So I'm now ahead $32. No matter what happens, I'm ahead $32. I, I 
geez, that's great. And it was working. And even if someone threw out the next throw, I'm still ahead to $32. I'd put that 60 back on the don't pass, and I'd play two numbers. To, if, if a 4 or 10 came, say a 4 or 10 came, then I would start this way on a 6 and 8. Always 6 and 8. You know, and uh, if a six or eight comes to the point, I I always took the nine. Nine's my favorite number, so I would take the nine. And if the five started coming, then maybe I would place it. That was, eh, but yeah. And then we had one girl who shot pretty good down the end there, and uh, actually knocked me off the don't pass, but made me enough money, more than enough to to fill it up. So I said, yeah, heck with it. And I went on the pass line for 15 bucks. And uh, she roll point again, and then I would back that with 30. And collect and add, you know, press my one unit and the number that comes. Sometimes, you know, and if we're doing okay, and, and say the nine comes and I have the, the five covered for, for 30, if the nine comes, then I press the both of them one unit. Go back to my original strategy. Well, I got to tell you, that saved me. I was actually ahead. By the time I got to shoot, I was ahead about $120, which was great. It was great. Uh, and I got to roll. I did okay. I played this. I still played the same HP strategy, even while I, w I rolled, because I... The table was just, it was yellow dice, but it, it seemed like the felt starting to wear in there pretty good. So, because uh, I, I had an average roll, which was probably, which was second best on the table other than that girl that shot. I think she probably had like 14 rolls. She got into the teens. And, and the next guy, even the guy who shoots all the time there, who shoots really well, and he had his position, stick one right, and he threw three rolls and out. It was a good thing I was playing the HP. So, again, I want to thank Brian. At the end of the night, I ended up profiting $1,276. This got me through the, the Googans that were shooting. And then I ended up having a good roll. I knocked myself off the don't pass. And once I did that, I played the pass. And I hit. I made two points that time. So, but it, it made up for what I lost there, but it was, it was steady income. And, and I, let me see, I got there a little before, I probably started playing around eight o'clock. And I got there and Quarter, quarter of 11, I cashed out, came home. Because it was, it was a little after 11 when I logged on to watch AZ's challenges. So, uh, but this, again, thanks, Brian. And at least I had sense enough to recognize how the table was going to be able to swap over to the HP strategy. So, but that's it. Eh. All right. Let me, uh, again. We're just going to. We're gonna throw for a limited time here, cause uh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do. Me and Christmas Eve, and I have to travel tonight down to Connecticut, Western Connecticut, about probably an hour, fifteen minute ride from here each way. Pack up the dogs, pack up presents, da 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 da. -da. Okay, all right, so. Picking up where we left off before. We were playing the uh, pass against the don't. 
And Adon's been really kicking our butt. Wow, look at the chips he's got. Dang. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, I believe he was the last shooter. I'll just be the shooter. I'm not even going to bother with it. And we'll put our bets up. And believe it or not, I even made this rack playing this way. But it's been a cold shooter, so let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. Oh, and my best dice set last night. And I was rolling. I, You know, after that first roll, I got to roll maybe three more times after that. And one of them, I had a high teens roll. So, that, you know, and it was with yellow dice. So... I think the felt is starting to wear in, and the dice are starting to wear on the edges a little bit. And it's making easier, a little bit easier to get your numbers. You know, I take all those factors into consideration. You know, anytime there's a change or something trends, and, and because of a, something physical like them changing the felt, you know, or, or new dice, hey, let's use yellow ones. Yeah, okay. But anyways, okay, let's go. But my my best dice set last night was the two one one three. Believe it or not, that was thrown good for me. Well, I'm gonna start with the six four five six. Oh, a seven right off the bat. Seven. Yeehaw. That was ugly. Yeah, I'll mark it there. This is a push. My horn comes down. All right, let's deuce back up. We lose the don't. Back up for 10. Let's go. Oh, and one other thing. It was, it was beautiful because no one down there at the end of the table last night at the casino was playing the pass line or the don't pass line. They were all just doing place bets and prop bets. Oh, and oh, and I threw some hard ways. And I started playing them and I, and I started pressing them. And uh, I had them pressed up to $20 each in all the hard ways. And I had hit them a number of times. So I, yeah, I did pretty good. Like I said, you make profit twelve seventy six. You're gonna eh. that's that's a good night. I had some good rolls. All right, let's try the same thing. Six four five six. Let's get playing here. Enough info. Six easy six. Look where the puck is. Of course. <clears throat> All right, there's the field and the horn. Okay, max odds, right? So that's sixty dollars. That'll pay fifty. Ten dollars on the DC. And yeah, let me hit my bets. This is how I started out last night, but it, it was at $15 level instead of a 10. But you can see, if you only get three, four rolls, how it just, it pummels your, your rack really bad. Keep playing that way, you need a, a, a big bank roll, and then you need a good roller, and you need to recognize that. So. Uh, what are we going to throw? Okay, four, two, four, six. I don't like it, but I'll try it. Nine. That worked okay. Nine. You pay thirty-five on the nine. We go up on the five and the nine. We're gonna rack a quarter. 
DC is going to travel to the nine. Max odds, seventy dollars. Ready to roll. Come on. And and last night another thing. Patience. She showed up last night and and sorry, four two. You just set my dice. Four two four six. And I told him what was going on. He got there a little late. But I was already ahead, maybe. I think 200 and something bucks when he showed up. Oh, an 11. I forgot to put his DC back up. He loses the DC. I get a push on that. Nothing happens. He's going back on the DC. The 11. I told him what was going on, and, and he was surprised I was playing that way. But I said, hey, it's the only thing that's kept me going so far. I've been here, you know, an hour now playing. And I'm, I'm edging ahead, and I'm protecting myself. So he started that way, but he didn't fully commit until he, he saw. He started making a little bit. When I was making money, he's making a little bit of money. And he said, yeah, yeah. Then he started to commit, and then he changed back again. And after I had a decent roll, he was to the left of me. He rolled. Doesn't he go and roll two yo's in a row? 120 bucks goes down the tube. Well, that's when he got off of it. I stayed with it. And, uh, well, you know, you got to take those hits. You got to take those hits. What did I do here? Four, two, four, six. Oh, 12. Holy cow. I should have, I should have played a horn bet, huh? See one play one. Hey, there's a tall. We got a great start for the tall. That's a push on the don't come. Nothing else happens. Here we go. Now he stayed, I left, he stayed there. I don't know how he made out. I hope he did good. I hope he did good. Hard four. Huh. I hit nothing here and throw hard ways. DC travels to the four. Max odds. That'll be a hundred. That's hundred. See, I should should have been playing the field at least. You know, maybe I will. And that way it'll. Usually when I do this, because the field numbers are coming, I throw an inside number. Let's see if it holds true. Okay, for two, four, six. I didn't even try that throw last night. Oh, a seven. Dang. Yeah, so here we go again. Mr. Don't's going to kick my butt. Okay, let's pay the flats here. 10, 10, 10. Now, 50, 50, and 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rolls. Average shooter. Ah. Okay. 
Let me go one more. I wasn't really planning on playing today. I got a lot of stuff to do, but I figure, what the heck, for a half hour or so. Okay. He's up. He's the shooter. He's going to be used in the 2113. 10. R10. Hmm. Mark it. Okay. Hornvet comes down with the field pace 10. Nice. Now, he's got. Oh, shoot. Why did I put 60 up there? Because I'm thinking of the. It was. It's supposed to be 10. I'm sorry. It's supposed to be 10. I did that wrong. Okay. We're back to normal here. You get his bets up. He's got a 10, so he's doing 100 odds. $10 on the DC. All right. Uh, I'm going to put up my bets. It's going to be an expensive one. Well, here's hoping for a good shooter. I'm going to take this 10, put it on the 4. I guess we're going all in, huh? Not quite. We already owe five hundred. We'll be down a thousand if we lose this. Right now we're down eight hundred and ninety-five dollars. Right. Mister Don't is just kicking butt. Okay, it is what it is. Granted, I would have changed my play by now, but. Just for the sake of the video and running against the pass and the don't. Because last time the pass kicked the don't's butt by thousands. I think I ran like, I don't know, 10 or 15 of them that I did in a row. They're in my past playlist. Under the pass versus don't. Towards the beginning. Okay, so we got the eight. Let's move our DC to the 8. Back up on the DC. 8 gets 60. Good odds. And I guess that's the way to play the don't. If you're going to play the don't, that's probably the least volatile way of, of playing it. I just never really liked getting partial payment on my bets. That's why I would make my flat bets bigger. I'd do 50, 50, 50, or even 25, 25, 25, because it's paid one to one at least. Okay, he's all set down on the field. And he ate. He's paid 35. <laughs> I got to say, he had the dealers last night all screwed up. They. Now, they're so used to me playing that a certain way. It had them pretty well messed up. They were looking for my bets, you know, because I just played the six and eight. You know, if the five or nine came, I'd just play the six and eight, and I'd be on the don't. And whenever a seven comes, they're reaching to grab my chips, and I'm going, no, 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 no. <laughs> We had a good time last night. And it's always a good time when you win, that's for sure. Without a doubt. Winning makes it a good time. A very pleasant experience. Oh, no. A seven again. Ah. I'm throwing like crap, too. All right. We're going to go one more. Uh, man, I can't even get started here. Jeez. I had everything covered. Didn't even, I collected once. That's not going to do it. Three roller. Boy, suck. <laughs> 10, 10. 
the flats. 50, 50 on the odds. But, you know, this is opening my eyes again, too. I used to play, I used to play the don'ts. I used to play the don'ts. But, I don't know, that changed when I started rolling good. And go one more. I only got enough for one more. That changed when I started rolling good. And then, you know, you get in with the in crowd, so to speak, and all the big shooters that are there and stuff, and people you see all the time. And you know they have good roles, too. And they hate the don't players. They just hate the don't players. That's why when I shot last night and I put and I put the sixty bucks for the HP sixty on the don't pass bar, all the dealers like took a half a step back and looked at me. Hey, gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, six four, last shooter. I won't torture you anymore. Six, four, five, six. Oh, a three. Okay, that'll work. AC Ducey. That yeah, works for both of us. Hey, $10 for the don't. There you go. AC Ducey's a push here. But I get 30 here, minus three. So that's 27. Better take it in red. 27. Back up. We're good. Rack that 10. Look at that chip stack. Dang, that, yeah, the don'ts are doing great on my table today. Last few sessions. That's all right. I don't mind doing crappy on my table. We're going to the casino and doing good on their table. Hmm, that's, that's, seems to be some kind of correlation there. I'm not sure. But, you know, I notice trends like that and starting to notice that. It's happening enough where it, it's sticking out. Getting my attention. Seven. Oof. Wait a minute. Mark the three, mark the seven. All right, this is a push. I lose the horn. He loses his don't. So we're back to even again for this shooter. <laughs> All right, we're gonna stay with the six, four, five, six on the come out. Still looking for a point. Oh, too tall, no call. Dice up in the rack. Wow, I haven't done that in a long time. Holy crap. I didn't throw it that hard. Took a crazy bounce. All right. There we go. A seven again. What the hell is going on here? Ay, ay, ay. That's a push. Horn comes down, back up. That's a loss. Back up. Yeah, like it bothers him. Ten bucks. <laughs> Money in the bank over there. I used to say it all the time. I'm going to stay with that six, four, five, six. Something's got good has to come of this. That's a better throw. Nine. I'm getting a little, starting to dial it in now. That's the other thing. You get to the casino, you don't get no practice throws. <laughs> You're right under the gun. You don't get any practice throws. 
you pay for your practice throws if you want to look at it that way. And then you got to wait again and pay again, but pay all the way through. That's, you know, I don't know. All right, let me see if I got enough to do this. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Nine, six, and eight. This. Yeah, have we thrown a four yet? Yeah, we've thrown some hard fours. We haven't thrown any tens. All right, I'm gonna put that on the four. I got five dollars left. You know what I'm gonna do with it? I'm gonna put it on the hard ways. I'll save a dollar in case one gets knocked out. <laughs> like if a 10 comes, a 6-4. Oh, wait a minute. We got to go Mr. Don't here. Sorry. 70. Odds. Down on the DC. There we go. Ah. What am I throwing, though? You know what? I'm gonna do five four four five and swap it back the other way. We'll see if we can roll that nine. Oh, a twelve. That's okay, I'm on the field. That's a push for the don't. Mark the twelve. Hey, pays triple on my table. Thirty dollars. Thirty bucks. Nice. I gotta put that in a rack. I'm gonna rack that. Okay. Five, four, four, five. Uh, nine. Oh, another 12. That's another push for the no. Oh, that's two 12s in a row. Dang, huh? It pays 30. Yep, 30. You know what? I'm going to take. Hard ways make them look like five each. Being hard ways, with the wrong ones. That's okay, I'm collecting on it. I'm gonna put that in the rack. No, I'm gonna put this on the 10. All right. Now I got a very good start here for what little I had in my rack. I managed to build a nice bet for myself. Now I need to keep it going. So, oh, five, four, four, five. An eight. Easy eight. Okay, let's mark it. Field comes down, hard eight comes down. DC travels to the eight. And you're gonna pull up sixty in odds. Now you're gonna go back on the DC for ten. Now I'm gonna get thirty-five. I'm gonna drop two dollars. One up on the six and eight. One unit each. Crack that, but I am also back up on my hard eight. Okay, he's all set. Let's go. Sense of urgency here. I'm on life support. Uh, niner. Five. I'll take it. Five. Let's mark it. DC travels. 
Five gets 70 in odds. Seven in odds. And DC back up. Okay, my five base 35. Go up on the five. I'll go up to nine to forty. Oh, we'll you're racking twenty. That's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Five four four five. Hard eight. Yes. Yes. Hard eight. Nice. Nice. All right. He comes down. DC's going to travel. He's going to go back up for 60. That's how he made his money. He's going to stay with his working and back on the DC for 10. Okay. He's square. Hey, 36 pays 42. Forty two and hard eight and one pays fifty dollar. Fifty dollar. Nice. Nice. Hey. Right. Go up on the six and the eight. One unit each. I'm racking this. I'm racking this. I'm back to about 150 bucks in my rack. Plus my bets up there. Here we go. Next time if I hit another hard way, I'm gonna press them. Five four four five. Oh, another five. All right. All right. Oh, boy. Another five. Oh, boy. That comes down. Woo. DC travels. Up another 70. And. Change for quarter. Back up 10 on the DC. Change. Now, I got 30 on there, pays 42. There's the 42. And I'm going up on the five. I'm going to rack this. Let's go. By four or five. Do we have something going here? Who knows? Six. Easy six. Let's mark it. DC travels to the six. It's sixty in odds. Okay, now, six pays, I got, oh, a 42 on there, pays 49, I'll drop a dollar, nickel, okay, 49. Six, I'm going up. Going up. Look at that, we're up to 48 on that. Nice. Gotta keep the roll going. He's going another 10 on the DC.
Hard six comes down. Hard six back up. And we'll rack that. We're looking pretty good here. Okay. Any pair, we don't care. By four, four, five. Oh, a seven. Shoot, just when I was going. That's all right. I didn't lose my rack. Uh, well, okay. That's too bad. I would have collected a couple more times. Just one more, right? Yeah. There ain't no regressing in my strategies. Sorry. No regressing. All right, let's pay the flats. Ten, 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 ten. All right. Fifty, fifty. Wow. Fifty, fifty. Look at that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rolls. Uh, getting better. I was getting better. All right. Wow, we. Ah. Uh. Just don't like it when the don'ts win. <laughs> don't know why. I guess it's that mindset I've built over playing every day, every night with the guys who can't stand the don'ts. And when they knock them down, it's like a, a party. When the don'ts got a level rack here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 25, 50, 75, 100, there's 2,000 right there. 2,055, 2,055, dang, hey, I was down to broke, I made a little bit of a comeback here, yeah, one, two, 222, that's enough to play next time, all right, thanks for watching, folks, let's sign off again. Uh, have a Merry Christmas and Christmas Eve, I hope. Everything goes everybody's way. Have a good one.